I started wearing hearing aids about a year ago. I'm Leslie Holden and I'm owner of the Polo Park Hearing Center. I'm a hearing instrument practitioner. I'm board certified. I've been working in the industry for 40 plus years. My name is Candace Holden and I'm a hearing instrument specialist at Polo Park Hearing Center. And I also hold a tinnitus care management certificate through the International Hearing Society. I am Leslie's second daughter. I have been in working here in the office since I was 15. Um, started Saturday mornings doing front office and then throughout high school, university and so forth. So I've been here at the office for almost 22 years. Being in the noisy environment in a restaurant and just not hearing as well as I want to and not getting the punchline of maybe a joke or a story that I would have gotten in the past. Well, we noticed that Leslie wasn't hearing us as well, especially around the office. Um, we'd have to go closer to her so she could hear us clearly and repeat ourselves a few times. So we encouraged her to have a hearing test. Maybe a year and a half, maybe two years, a little bit of nagging. My, my daughters were after me. I thought my hearing was fine. Every time they tested me, they told me I cheated because I can do the test. Actually, we were down in Minneapolis at uh, Audubelle's head office and we had the opportunity to be tested and, and fit with hearing aids. And the girls weren't with me and I thought this is the perfect opportunity to get it done. So I was, I was actually fit with the manufacturer. I'm currently wearing the Audibel Via AI. I would say my hearing loss is maybe the least amount being zero. I would say maybe it's at a two or a three. It's not significant, but yet I do find a huge improvement with wearing the hearing aids. Huge. The clarity that, you know, again, being in that noisy restaurant and not being able to get the punchline. Um, just hearing it that much better. We were out for dinner with friends and I heard Carrie say to one of our friends, oh, don't bother, she won't hear you anyways. I just find even, you know, if we go home and I'm watching TV, I'll even leave them on. So, yeah, you know, I put them in first thing in the morning and leave them in until I go to bed at night. And in fact, I've almost, well, I have gone into bed and realized, oh my God, I haven't taken the hearing aids out because I felt so natural with them on. The first step that we would want to take would be to be tested. Um, it can be the hardest step to take because we're a little unsure of what the response is going to be and what our results are going to be, um, but that sets your pathway, whether it's just having your hearing checked on a regular basis from now on or whether amplification is needed. You know, some people can be encouraged, maybe not pushed, to come in and be tested. She did it when she was ready. Leslie did it when she was ready, and that's also very important because if someone's trying to encourage or push someone and they're not ready, then a lot of the times it won't be successful. But I think it's important for that person to also accept the fact that the loss is there and it can be aided. It's just like that first pair of bifocals. I didn't want those either, but I couldn't be without them right now. So.